Hello, this is Bear from Bear Wave. How's it going? Here's a weekly update on uh, Bitcoin and cryptos. We'll, we'll also take a look at uh, the stock market. And um, yeah, it's just going to be a, a weekly update on uh, what's going on in the market that we tend to follow the most here um, at Bear Wave being the crypto market and the stock market. So before we get started, I just wanted to give the usual shout out to the Discord, which is uh, completely free. You'll find the link in the description of this video. Uh, no, I'm not selling you a course. I don't have one. Um, so yeah, just uh, if you want to join more people and mainly the, the point is I'm much more active on the Discord than I am on YouTube. Um, we, we post stuff every day in there. So if, you, if you're if you an active trader, investor or whatever, or if you're just a L-Wave fanatic, um, I'm just, um, we are. Everyone is much more active um, on the Discord than on uh, on YouTube. So. That being said, um, so it is, what day is it? It, it? It's Tuesday the 19th of March and um, we're on the daily chart of Bitcoin. So basically, I'm not surprised by what is going on and uh, trying to be as quick as possible. This way here, we can counter like this or we can counter like one here, two up. So that's that's been the outgoing theme for uh, several months now can that be one two three four and five so th the answer to can it is yes um, is it i don't know um i as you can i mean just by telling it what you i mean by looking at the screen you're looking at simply you can tell i have more, more bullish i'm expecting one two three at this point, it looks like this way three could be in place, and we are into way four, looking for five up towards 80. Um, either 80 or 100 will hold as resistance. Depends, I guess, much strong how strong the trend is. Um, I would expect 80 to, to act as strong. Down in way four, at that point, if, if 80 act as resistance the first time, then uh, back into way four. Um, this way for and at that point I would like to see hundred um, thousand and then uh, we'll, we'll take it from there I think it's quite pointless to forecast that far off in the future we're just aware that if that happens five ways unfold either the way you see it we have a primary wave one down for two and at that point we skyrocket possible um, I mean in a way in you could also say it's highly possible or else that everything needs to be moved one degree higher let me back so i can delete all of these drawings um again everything should be moved one degree higher alternatively and uh, we topped in uh, this cycle way five which is right here which one is it going to be i have no idea everyone who tells you they know they don't nobody knows We'll see. Uh, we can try to estimate, we can try to predict, we can try to forecast, but we do not know. So, that being said, uh, those are basically the main scenarios I see, either uh, the way you see it, mm, primary wave 1, downside, up, into wave 5, or else wave 5 completed. We'll have to see what's going to happen. Speaking about alternatives on the count, again, it's basically what I said, either uh, this is one, two, three is here. So this three goes here. Four, five, either A, B, C up, or again, we five here, which I doubt. So possibility wise, probability wise, I remain the way you see it. If we bring on volume, oh, it's loading. So volume is what you would like to see at uh, a top major um, seller this this is sell seller stepping into the market then people are dumping it and uh, what we would like to see now is again increasing volume with the price going higher and that would signify buyers are getting back into the market so if we look on an intraday let's see if we see it something like that not yet we do see increasing volume on the 4 hour chart oh god 
Sorry, guys. Okay, is all live. Um, so, okay, so intraday chart. That's what I'm seeing potentially th this way. Given the fact that this wave two was pretty much um, straight to the point, sharp, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a sideways wave four. So that was just wave A. Now we enter a sideways consolidation to wave B. And so just an overall sideways wave four. I would not want to see this level 60,000 being uh, broken uh, strongly with strength. That's something I would not like to see. I would start to compromise account as long as we find support in here, which, which it's not a coincidence. Look at volume, lots of volumes here, lots of volume here. And look at this as we approach this area, volume is increasing. So many times, yes, you're looking at price, but when you combine price and volumes without using any indicator, just volume, you, s you get an idea of where people where and when people are buying. Now, that doesn't mean that the fact the fact that here you had volume doesn't mean you're going to have it again one more time. Nothing is guaranteed. However, it is uh, quite possible. So, yeah. So let's see the, the, the stock market, the US stock market opens in less than 30 minutes. So I would expect um, more volume with the opening. Let's see what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, overall, main point of this count, let's not break this area with volume. So let's not break it with volume and let's not uh, close below these lows here at below 60,000. That's the main point. Um, any questions, let me know or just join the Discord and let me know in there. And um, that's about it for Bitcoin. My bad. That's my phone. So ETH, similar count. Um, wait similar account let me do this what is different is I'm much more bullish on ETH than, um, than Bitcoin which could be could turn out to be quite dangerous so far so good we did pull back um, deeper than expected because I'm expecting one two one two three four five so ideally we find support right now um, we can eventually again because of the same reason with Bitcoin, this was sharp. I'm happy to see a sideways move into wave four. Um, then I would like to see another push higher. This is 1.618 times three against one right here. So that's where I would like to see um, s resistance as well as, as you can see, it's basically all time high. Uh, so it's, it's confluence. So that's what I like to see basically th for ETH. For their upside support to be found, I'm happy if we, I mean, I I'm, 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 will not be surprised if we move sideways and then upside into wave five. And um, yeah, that's about it. Last but not least, I'll take a look at Solana that we've been following both here on the channel and on the Discord. So far, so good. Last update, we were around $100. We did identify this as corrective. We're looking for a push higher. Right now, that's the best count. One, two, three, four, five. And at that point, we could pull back lower. So as cryptos tend to move together, um, even though Solana this past week has been a bit of an outsider, um, as Bitcoin was falling, Solana hit $200. Um, so basically what I'm saying is, um, no, never mind. Just... Um, I'll keep, I'll save it for, for the discourse so you guys join. <laughs> um, anyways, um, jokes apart, uh, if we take a look at the indices, uh, which I haven't, I'll, I'll do it with you right now. So you also guy potentially could uh, learn something. Um, as in not, I have something to teach, but I mean, maybe you could learn something new. That's what I meant. So that's been the count, which it's not been validated really. So I guess it's, still valid um this seems um corrective even if we fall back lower as long as we stay above here above seventeen thousand five hundred i'm happy to keep it as a way for upside so as you, in a way you can see it's very similar to cryptos one more leg higher before a larger pullback so it you know this markets tend to move together so it, it makes sense 
Um, and I guess the S&P would be quite similar. One, two, I have a one, two, three, four. Well, well, well. That's a bit different because you cannot, either you, you squeeze a, 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 a sorry, even you skew, oh, sorry guys. Even either you squeeze an ending diagonal, oh, I made it in here, depending on where it ends, which is possible, but then you would have a limited upside compared to what you would expect in the NASDAQ. So either that or or I'm wrong and I'm I'm not seeing some one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Or else you could do this. You could where's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, um four, five. Wait, so let me show you better. One, two, three, four, and five. Five is definitely a little shorter than three, so we're good. And uh, upside, maybe this, this. There you go. Yeah, that's better. That that's more in line with the Nasdaq. I like this better. Uh, let me know, guys, what you think. And uh, Dow Jones. There you go. So yeah, so far so good. Looking for downside. Oops, nope wrong tool looking for downside and then continue higher I've been pretty bullish on industrials um, I actually been um, making made fun of for caterpillar which I it was a uh, about uh, I think two months ago now I was basically looking at one two one two and I think we were around here um, that people laughed at me so far so good um, I at this point we should reach quality um, but yeah, I'm, I'm I'm pretty bullish on industrials, and um, what else? The DAX, well, the DAX is super bullish. It's been bullish for quite some time. Let's go on the daily. Sorry if it's a bit slow with the internet. So one two, one two, one two, one two. Uh, sounds like a, a joke. One two, one two. So let's zoom in. One two, one two three four five. Soon to top in wave three. It looks like. But yeah, overall super bullish. Uh, yeah, so really, it's really not the time to be conservative right now. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying buy uh, the DAX full margin long uh, mortgage your house. That would be um, stupid, extremely. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, wave count, just looking at other waves, it looks pretty bullish to me. I don't know what you guys think. And then uh, last but not least, I wanted to point out... Um, a forecast I made on Exxon Mobile, and if you want to watch the previous forecast, uh, uh, it should be popping up right now. The video to where you can find it as I'm talking should be popping up right here. Um, so basically, it was a, a few weeks ago, and we were here. I believe we're right here, and I, I basically gave um, different reasons on why I would expect an upside. Um, so it was a top-down analysis starting from the weekly upwards and again you'll find it uh, it should have popped out already and uh, you, at that point you can see further upside into I mean it, it just basically came true doesn't mean that I mean could have been luck yes uh, obviously I'm not gonna pretend to be a guru it could have been luck but in that in that um, sorry in that video you can see all the different reasons all the different um, yeah why I said I was fighting upside um, so you get an idea of how I operate. And again, hope to see you in the Discord. Thanks for watching. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions, any counts, or anything you want. You you think it's not really um, the best count I could come up with. And if you want to stay updated to the channel, obviously subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please like. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.